News Network. I was I don't wondering. Talk to Sun News Network. Oh, okay. Um, Ma'am, if you don't mind, I would. I'd like to know why. Oh, I don't want to tell you why. Ma'am, I don't mean to be disrespectful in I'm, any way. I'm not. I'm, I'm not blaming you. But Sun News is right-wing, anti-choice, and anti-feminist, and I don't talk to them. That's all. That's Judy Rebick of Rabble.ca, formerly the National, National, National Action Committee of the Status Women, telling the son that she doesn't want to talk to the son. I don't mind her being firm and fairly polite, saying I don't want to talk to you. That's her freedom, as it is our freedom to ask her questions. But if you want to see how the rest of that exchange went, you'll have to tune in to the arena tonight with Michael Korn. What a hoot. Well, let's talk about real censorship. When someone just doesn't say, I, I don't want to talk to you, but actually pushes you, shoves you, hits you because they disagree with you. Well, joining us now in studio to talk about this is Alyssa Galloway. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Now, you are a pro-life activist, and normally that means you marshal words, <laughs> and you get words thrown back at you. It's called debating. Tell mm -hmm. me what you were up to this weekend at a place in Toronto called Young and Dundas Square. Well, basically, um, every, every Friday I have a group of activists, and we do different types of activism on the streets of Toronto to bring awareness to the issue and to have discussion. Um, so we either use graphics or we go in front of abortuaries and hold help signs, things like that. But this particular Friday, we had been doing a lot in the past couple months, and I just decided to take it easy and do something called uh, like pro-life pro -life sidewalk chalk. And they have it in the States. It's called the um, National Pro-Life Sidewalk Chalk Day. So basically, we were um, writing pro-life slogans along in the street, the public sidewalk, um, all along Dundas up to Dundas Square. And in front of different establishments, but it was all on private property. You mean and, public, um, private property or public sorry, property? Sorry, it was all on public property, yeah. not private property. Well, I've been to Young and Dundas Square, and I know it because it's a little bit of Hyde Park, a little bit of Times Square. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where the guys have the, the stand where they give out the free Korans and invite mm -hmm. you to convert. Like, it's a kind of place where someone will be strumming a guitar and a little bit down, someone will be selling something. Like, it's really Absolutely. a public square, isn't it? Absolutely. People have, of all different opinions and faith backgrounds go there to preach whatever, you know, and trying to get people in, uh, engaged in discussion. Yeah. Here, I want to show a picture of, of your pro-life chalk stand here. Let's just look at it because I want to show what it was. So it was a, it was a little awning and a... And it, you know, this is normal for Young and Dundas Square, am I right? Yeah, absolutely. And this this particular picture was taken during a street festival, but it was that sidewalk chalk that was happening all along the, we went all along the, the sidewalk. And so the owner of the Imperial Pub, which is for Dundas East, for boycott reasoning, um, came out and uh, he was, he chased some of the activists down the street and I was videotaping. And I just said, don't engage with him, but I'm just videotaping to make sure nothing violent happens. And he turns to me and he says, this is violence. And then comes at me um, with his fist in the air. So I kind of ducked and then a man who was passing by stepped in the way. And then women who are passing by started screaming at him, telling him never to hit a woman, and that's wow. just something you never Let, do. Here, let's show the video, because you caught all this on tape. Let's mm -hmm. talk about it. Let's, let's roll the clip first. Hi, how are you? How do you do? Very good. You're filming us without permission. And it's public property. And no, it's public not. Property. You don't have to engage with him. I just want to make sure nothing violent happens. Oh, yeah, no, don't worry. Nothing this is violent. Don't touch me. Unfair. Call 911. Call 911. That's right. Ah. Now, those two black kids, those were part of your pro-life crew? Yes, yes. And you're a woman, actually, of mm -hmm. course. So it's, mm -hmm. it's sort of funny to me that a couple of old white guys <laughs> yeah. think it's cool to <laughs> shout at some young black guys. Mm -hmm. And did they hit you? Or what did they do? Like, they said, I'll show you violence. Is that what he said? I'll show he you said, violence? Yeah, he said, this is violence. And then came at me with his fist in the air. I don't know. You know, all I saw was a swinging motion. So he could have punched me. He could have but did he make contact it. with you? No, he didn't. So so when the camera went funny, it's because you were ducking. I was ducking, yeah. But yeah. You, obviously, you genuinely thought he was going to Absolutely. make contact. Like, Absolutely. Did he try? Like, I mean, he looks like a bit of a, well, a nerd. A, a bit, yeah. I, I think that's the only time he's ever thrown a punch in his life, let's be honest. He, he didn't look re quite mad. He's not the bouncer in his bar, let's Absolutely put it that way. Absolutely not. Uh, no, a big burly man who was passing by uh, stepped in, in between me and was and stayed there. And, and yeah, what do passers-by think about a couple of bar owners shouting at some black kids and throwing a punch at a woman? Like, that That doesn't sound normal to me. Absolutely not. And so when, after that happened, when we were waiting for the police to come, I, I was saying, you know, this man <laughs> was punching me. This is violence oh, against Oh, so you did women. call 911? We did, yes, yes. And what did the cops say when they came? Did um, you show them the footage? 
Uh, well, they didn't come. Oh, they didn't come. Eh? <laughs> we waited. We waited for a while. They what didn't did you come. say on the nine one one call? We just said that a man attempted to assault a, a young female at uh, Young and Dundas, and could we please have police assistance? And what did the nine one one operator? They say? said that they would that they would be there shortly, but we waited for a while and they never came. So I went back to the office and, and called to lodge a formal complaint um, against this man and to uh, you know that he attempted to assault me. And the officer basically told me that um, there's nothing that they could do because he never actually physically touched me, and that. If I ever went back to that same street corner again to do any type of pro-life activism and a disturbance happened, then I would be at fault for disturbing the peace. He would not be at fault for actually so doing the actual disturbance. Th that's incredible. Now, now mm -hmm. you didn't record that phone call, did you? Well, they said, I, I, I asked specifically, is this phone call being recorded? And they said yes. So. Well, you should make an access to information request to get mm -hmm. that recording. I agree, definitely. I mean, it's, I mean, if the shoe was on the other foot, if you were a pro-choice activist mm -hmm. outside a church, and someone came out of the church and tried to throw a punch oh, yeah. at you, there's no chance that you would be blamed, that the cops would blame the victim, and the cops would say, Absolutely. if you don't like being punched, don't go to a church. Mm -hmm. That's craziness. And this is a well-known business owner who's, you know, familiar with the police in the area, and it's it's clearly a, 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 an instance of biasness. Well, I mean, it's so. weird to me that in the, in the moral hierarchy, mm -hmm. a pub owner... Uh, it is rated higher than a political activist, and, and a pub owner gets a free punch. Absolutely, I, I totally agree. And so, for any viewers watching, again, it is the Imperial Pub on well, let's, The clip was quick. Let's roll the clip one more time. We're all inside. Let's just look at the clip one more time. Hi, how are you? How do you do? Very good. You're filming us without permission. And it's public property. CD. No, it's public not property. You don't have to engage with him. I just want to make sure nothing violent happens. Oh, yeah. uh, don't worry. Not this violent. is violent. That's Touch me. unfair. Call 911. Call 911. That's right. This is violence. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so proud to have him as a as the face of the uh, the Toronto corporate community. Here's what you have to do. Mm -hmm. You got to do an access to information complaint mm -hmm. to get that recorded from the cop. And I think you should file a civil suit against that thug. Mm -hmm. I mean, if the cops won't prosecute and maybe they don't have enough evidence, mm -hmm. I think you should file a civil suit. Mm -hmm. And your recording there clearly shows that you were assaulted. Mm -hmm. Assault doesn't mean battery. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean you were touched. An assault mm -hmm. meant you were in, under imminent fear of being hit. Absolutely. That guy assaulted you. I've seen okay. it with my own eyes. Mm -hmm. You should sue that bastard <laughs> and have the last laugh. That's I just agree. my free legal advice. <laughs>